Hello, everyone. Welcome to this edition of SEO Lunch, your look at the latest and greatest in SEO tips to improve your WordPress-powered website. I'm your host, Dan, and we have a new format now. We're not going to do the title. We're just going to skip right to the chase, right to the content that you'd like. Uh, today's concept is actually going to refer to WordPress e-commerce websites. So you're trying to sell something from either your physical storefront or some digital product, like a like an audio file or a movie or something like that, or another sort of download uh, ebook, whatever it might be. Um, we're going to tailor this to WordPress, to the WooCommerce platform, and talk about all sorts of different tips and things you can do to optimize it so your product shows up on the first page of Google. So we have an article to follow with this, um, which has 17 tips, and I welcome you to read that. Um, and we're going to go through them briefly, and you can read a little bit more information about it on our website at slocumthemes.com. Um, we're going to start right with the content. So the content is sort of the most important part. Google doesn't have any sort of a visions or a daydream sort of modifier for their uh, for the way you search. So you can't just think up something and Google will find it for you. You still ultimately have to type in what you're looking for. That being said, you want to optimize your content on your website thusly. You want to make sure that that content that I'm looking for is ranking on your site on Google. So how do we do that? Well, there are a bunch of different ways. Um, the first way we do that is by picking unique keywords and long tail keywords. On previous episodes of the series, we have gone over in depth how to rank for long tail keywords. So I recommend you look at those, but basically picking keywords that are longer, um, a little bit more unique and a little bit more specific. So instead of saying something like a winter coat, you might say something like a pink North Face winter coat might be the keyword that you're ranking for. And you can use popular tools like WordPress SEO by Yoast, a wonderful tool that we've talked about in the past to focus that keyword, as well as set a lot of your content um, to maximize that keyword. So where do you want to put all this content? Where do you want your keywords to go? Well, I actually have pulled up here a product page um, for uh, a product that we have on WooCommerce. So we've created a product here, um, and we have the descriptive name of the product. So this is the, the product that um, the title. You want the keyword to be in the title. We have your permalink here, which we can just edit and put your URL there. Again, you want your keyword there. We have your content. Now with WooCommerce content, this is the content that goes below the images and the product description. We'll get to that in a moment, but you want your content to use the keyword a few times as well. Right now we just have filler text in here to show you. Going down the page, we have our WordPress SEO by Yoast free plugin installed and we can ma maximize the descriptive name of the product here. Also set the meta description, which is what's gonna show up on Google when you run a search. We also have the product short description here, um, which is also a wonderful tool. Now, this is what is actually going to display at the top of a page when you use a WooCommerce product. So this is going to be things like the dimensions, the color of whatever it is, the weight, whatever it may be. Um, the only tips we do have on that sort of content is make sure it's the same across the board. So if I'm selling 30 t-shirts, I want to make sure at the top of every one of my t-shirt pages I have you know, sizes, colors, whatever it may be, and I'm keeping it the same. People love comparing. Um, in the article, I talk about um, the difference between do I want to buy that shirt and which shirt would I like to buy. In the latter case, that person is looking to make the purchase, and now they are kind of playing. They have the ability to look through the different product offerings you have, and the question is less about, yeah, do I want this, and more about which one do I want or how many do I want. So it increases your conversion in that way. Finally, we have blogging. We talk about blogging all the time, and I can't stress how important blogging is for your website. The reason blogging is so important is because you have so many elements. You have um, keywords that you can put in those blog posts. You become the authority on those blog posts as well. And it's just more content that people get to read to get into your website. Um, for example, if I sell skateboards, um, you may not find my website right away. You might not be looking for the type of skateboard that I sell, but you might say, you might search in Google how to build a skateboard, or choosing the right wheels for your skateboard, or skateboards versus longboards. And if you've created an article that has a lot of information and in-depth information about those topics, and that person finds your website, they are more likely to now find your shop page on that existing website, go to your shop page, and then maybe perhaps even buy a skateboard from you, buy wheels from you, buy trucks from you, decks, whatever the skateboard product may be in that case. Um, and that's just an example. And this can be applied to any business um, at all. 
Uh, we recommend using tools like Trello is a really great tool to use to actually organize a bunch of blog posts so you always have something fresh to write about, maybe hire a team to write your content, or get somebody that you know to help you write your content if you're not comfortable writing yourself. The next major element of optimizing your site is optimizing your page load speed. Um, both for organic reasons and also just for technical reasons, you want to have a very fast running website. It has been proven that Google ranks websites that load faster, you know, within a second or within a couple of seconds more highly than websites that take forever to load. But don't go by Google's technical limitation. Also go by the organic limitation of your customer. If I'm somebody that's looking at my cell phone, I'm on the move, I'm looking to eat out, for example, I want to go out to eat and I go to your website and it takes forever for the page to load, I might get frustrated, I might go somewhere else. Uh, similarly, if the user experience isn't that great, um, it's gonna be difficult for me to take action um, versus a website that has a faster load and better user experience. This brings us to our next point, which is mobile design. Um, it's a huge key element, but you wanna make sure that your WordPress theme or your WordPress website is actually responsive or ready for mobile devices. So if I have my phone out or my tablet, or my desktop, that view is specified for that device. This improves the user experience and ensures that they're gonna to continue to look at your website. Um, many themes are responsive. Our WordPress themes are responsive. Um, it's kind of the trend these days. Um, going into 2015, more and more people making purchases on mobile devices means more and more opportunities to get a responsive WordPress theme. The next thing I wanna talk about is a biggie. It's images. So images are gigantic. Um, you wanna make sure that you're taking good quality photos, which sounds like a sort of an obvious thing, but you'd be surprised. You wanna make sure that you have very good visuals and that they're optimized using popular tools like Image Optum um, and other, other tools. Actually, Apple Preview works really well for optimizing images. Uh, we have more content in the article about that, but take good quality images because visuals sell. Um, beyond taking good quality images, you also wanna optimize your alt text. So when we go into WordPress, I'll pull up a WordPress image right here. If I were to add an image here, we have alt text here. This is an Arnaud Rousseau dress shirt. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> but what I do know is that when I am going into my alt text, I want to make sure that I have that long tail keyword there. Again, the long tail keyword in my alt text before I insert this image into my product page. You can also use the built-in WordPress galleries found by going to add media, insert gallery, to show more views of your product and make it more likely that that person is gonna see your images and take action. The next element I wanna to briefly touch on are rich snippets or what's called schema or schema.org, S-C-H-E-M-A.org. Um, there's actually a really great plugin that's free um, in WordPress called all in one schema.org rich snippets, uh, which will have again linked in the article for you to download for your site. And what this allows you to do is add a lot of content to your site in product reviews, star ratings, um, product descriptions, price, currency type, is it in stock? So if you're selling a physical product, this is an awesome thing to have. And what this is gonna do on the front end when I look at a Google search, it's gonna allow me to see a little bit more information about the product. Hey, I wanna buy this shirt, oh look, on this website, it is in stock and it is $50. Um, let me click on it and see more. So it, it gives you a sort of an invitation into the website uh, to get in there. And as long as you keep your information the same, that's a really, really great way to build trust and get somebody to click to like sort of see your storefront and then come in for more. The way we do this is we actually configure a rich snippet. So on that same product page, we're going to select a say product. We can give it a star rating. Let's give it four brand name. So again, using that same example, um, I'm going to probably butcher the spelling. So I apologize if you're an Arnold Rousseau fan. <laughs> Shirt, you can add an image, Let's say it's 50 bucks. And oops, it's D. And we have it in stock. And all this information is actually gonna be carried over to Google to Schema so that it ranks and people can understand that before they enter your page. Really cool stuff. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is share your content. Whether you're a local business looking to get more exposure in your local area or just a general e-commerce site selling physical products, shipping it overseas, internationally, nationally, whatever it might be, um, having social sharing capability is really, really important. If you have a product that people are looking for and friends of yours, um, are sharing your content, 
people are able to easily say, hey, look, check out this cute bracelet, check out um, this shirt, check out this movie, whatever it might be. If they're able to share that easily from your site, that's more butts and seats. That's more people seeing your content and potentially clicking and viewing your site. The way we make it very easy to display this is by installing actually the Jetpack plugin. So Jetpack made by the team at Automatic, which is the same team that makes WordPress. It's a free download. Once you have it on your site, you go to Jetpack settings, um, and there's actually a sharing add-on because Jetpack is comprised of a whole bunch of add-ons. You go in here, and you can actually tweak the way your buttons look a little bit, icon or icon and text. Choose which social media icons you want, and that will allow people to share it right from any of your products, posts, pages, you know, whatever you'd like to use on your site. Really, really powerful stuff and very, very easy to use, which is what's most important. If you're optimizing your site on the local level, you want to make sure that you are um, taking advantage of a few key features when you're optimizing. You wanna make sure that your keywords actually relate to the location you're in. So whether that be the city, maybe it's a larger area like the tri-state area, South Shore, West Coast, whatever it might be. Or if you're located near um, a very, very popular you know, monument or very popular attraction or area, you might include those in your keywords too so people can find you very, very easily. You wanna keep a Google Places profile and maintain that. Maintain Yelp as well. You wanna build links, so get in touch with other local businesses, maybe businesses that are complementary to yours or businesses that are um, not direct competitors. Link to their sites, get, get social so people can find your content elsewhere. Building links is also really key with Google. They like sites that have a lot of links going to the site. Finally, I wanna talk about landing pages. Um, this is a very overlooked um, section and I don't know why. Uh, landing pages are huge uh, because they, al they allow less interactivity on your site. And when you're talking about a product, information about your product, purchasing and checking out, the less information, the better. Um, so we're gonna use an example. We're actually gonna use our site really quickly here just to show you as an example. Um, we have our themes page here where you can buy them. And there you'll notice there's no sidebar here. If I go to a blog page though, you'll notice that we actually do have content on this page on the sidebar. So it is a different template that we have. Our themes have all these templates built in as well. But the point is, you look here, it's all very structured and centered. There really aren't a lot of options. There's the header, but once you're in the content, there's really nowhere to go except to buy, look at demos, things like that. So let's go ahead and buy this, right? And you'll notice that our checkout page is even more centralized. There's nothing, there is no header no foot or anything like that. Um, it's just the content that we want you to know about, not about our product. Um, this also helps conversion because you can go right in there, purchase the product, and that's it. So I really hope you like this tutorial on e-commerce, WordPress SEO. Um, if you have any comments, tips, suggestions, things that missed out, things um, that you don't agree with, please comment below. We love all comments, good and bad. It helps us improve our processes. We have so many episodes of our shows, so please do subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Check out our playlist. I think we're over 5,000 subscribers now, which is really, really cool stuff, so we're always happy to see that. Um, if you like this new format, if you didn't like it, let us know, please. And of course, as always, this is brought to you by our wonderful Slocum Themes, responsive, um, clean, uh, designed to get butts in seats to look at your website. So check out slocumthemes.com. Thank you so much for your time.